Hollywood actor Jeffrey Tambor said Sunday he's leaving the hit Amazon series Transparent after two transgender women accused him of unwanted sexual conduct. In one allegation, actress Van Barnes says Tambor sexually harassed and groped her. In another, Tambor's co-star, Trace Lissette, said he pushed his body against her between takes on the set of Transparent. Tambor has denied the allegations. He plays a trans star. Meanwhile, music mogul and activist Russell Simmons is denying allegations of rape and sexual assault. After model Kerry Klaus and Kaligi says Simmons coerced her to perform oral sex before raping her in a shower in 1991 when she was just 17 years old. Kaligi says filmmaker Brett Ratner looked on during the assault and ignored her pleas for help. Ratner himself faces accusations from at least six women, including one account that he overpowered a woman and forced her to perform oral sex on him when she was 19 years old. At least five people say they were sexually harassed or groped at a TED Talks conference in Vancouver last April. Among those reporting abuse is TED Talks' own general counsel, who said in an email she was touched inappropriately and that executives at the nonprofit Speakers Series weren't doing enough to combat sexual harassment. The U.S. Congress Office of Compliance says it's paid out more than $17 million to settle cases of sexual harassment, as well as discrimination based on race, religion, and disability. The cases were paid out of a special fund operated by the Treasury Department, rather than by members of Congress or their staffers who are accused of the discrimination or harassment. The disclosure comes as a number of female Congress members have come forward to say they've been victims of sexual harassment. Meanwhile, Minnesota Democratic Senator Al Franken says he will not resign following accusations by radio broadcaster Leanne Tweeden that Franken groped her while she slept and forced her to kiss him in 2006. Last week, Leanne Tweeden posted a photo showing Franken appearing to place his hands on her breasts over her Kevlar vest while she was sleeping on a plane back from a U.S tour, a USO tour that they both had participated in. Um, Al Franken was a comedian at the time. He says he supports a full investigation by Congress.